Repeat, what are film and video workshops? Well, film and video workshops are groups of activists within communities all over Scotland who are making films and videos either about local issues and problems or they're teaching local people how to make films themselves. And how are they funded? It's pretty patchy. It's very hard to get money. Uh, for instance, in Glasgow, the Glasgow Film and Video Workshop has spent the last two, three years trying to get money. And at the present, they're getting some from the District Council. Um, but generally, for instance, in Edinburgh, money comes from Lothian Region. Uh, and it varies. Sometimes the Scottish Film Council give money, but that's difficult because they don't really have it to give. What's the purpose of today's Open Day? Well, all these film and video workshops all over Scotland very seldom have a chance to get together and show what they're doing and really talk about what they're trying to do. So there's a lot of ignorance in the part of local authorities and film, film authorities about what it's all about. So it's an attempt to get everyone together to educate them or to tell people about what we're trying to do. And what can people actually see here today? Well, it's quite a varied programme. We've tried to mix it between showing films and having chats. I mean, at the back here, we're going to be having what are called talkies, where people talk and answer questions and show extracts from films. That's down here in the conference room. Whereas upstairs, there's films on in the cinema, where you can see big, sort of 16mm productions, glossy films. Now, you say other workshops are being set up all the time. Whereabouts are these? Right, well, there was one in Glasgow three years ago, and now there's three that are trying to set themselves up. Um, there's four in Edinburgh. There's one in the central region, one trying to get off the ground in Falkirk, one up in Lewis, up in the Western Isles. Very little activity from Aberdeen and Dundee. I mean, there's been attempts there, but when you're trying to start something off, if you get a job, you, you, you're not going to put all your time into fundraising. And a lot of people tend to start these things off when they're unemployed and they're interested in filming video. So, of course, if they get jobs, quite often the whole initiative and energy disappears. Finally, if people want to become involved, how can they? Well, in Drum Chapel, there's actually a, a, video, a video workshop itself. It's at the Camus Place Centre. And they've got quite a lot of equipment. They've got filming equipment and editing equipment. And I think they would be quite keen to hear from people if they wanted to go along and make something. One small local place that young people can use is a community flat, which is really a converted council house. A couple of people in Blochairn community flat explained what they used the place for. Yeah, well, there's a video machine, but that there, as you can see. Uh, the Atari, you've got darts. Or you can just come in if you're bored. There's a tele if you don't want to play the Atari. There's pool or snooker. That's practically it, really. But it's something to get you off the street, isn't it? Okay. Is the flat open during the day? Tuesday afternoon. Is, is Who's that for? That boys are 17, Upwards, 18, 16 onwards. This community flat was obtained by the local tenants association who got it off the council. In other places, flats have been obtained by community workers that are just for young people's use. Would you have any advice to young people like yourselves that are hanging about and don't have anywhere to go, what they could do about that? It's a big bridge called the Clyde. Just go to ask to try to get a community flat. You know, go to go to the tenants and ask him, and then go to the council. That's one of the way you can uh, get a community flat. The making of the following film demonstrates new techniques in teaching video. A group of people with basic training pulled their energies to learn more about the medium through making a film with the help of an experienced worker. Everyone was involved in camera work, acting and editing in this project that was run with the Workers' Educational Association. Financial support came from the City of Edinburgh District Council Leisure and Recreation Committee.
Morning, Vicar. Mr. Lamont? Mr. Lamont! Mr. Lamont? Mr. Lamont? Things that cannot go on like this. There is a woman in there. Oh, really? Am I to presume that she stayed the night? Aye, well, she's... I wish to inform you that my house is not a den of iniquity. You were employed here to keep it clean and tidy. And for the last six weeks, in fact, ever since you've arrived, it's been a complete and utter mess. And now this! I'm a reasonable man, Mr. Lamont, but that is it. Out! No chance, Your Holiness. You can't make me go. You chuck me out and I'm heading straight for the news of the screws. Thick of sex points by gay living lover. You pay me a fortune for it. <laughs> How dare you, Mr. Lamont? I dare, Your Holiness. I dare. I'll leave when I feel like it. I fooled you six weeks ago, and I'll fool any reporter in Fleet Street. No tricks now. I can do it. Bastard. I've got to go now, love, otherwise I'll be late for work. Okay, make sure none of the neighbours are here. Take this. It's his? Ah, okay, I'll never notice. Okay. All right. Dear God, please help me to be rid of that dreadful man, and I will endeavour. Who the hell are you? I am a messenger from God, and the message I bring you is that if you wish to see the end of Mr. Lamond, you have the power to fulfill that wish. You can control his destiny. You can make him disappear. Just wink at him, and he'll be gone. Do you repent of all your evil sins, in thought and in deed? Piss off, you old fool. Why don't you go and weed the Garden of Eden? Act now, man. This is your last chance. Look, I've had just about enough. God in his merciful holiness. What have I done?
Oh, my goodness! Oh. You're quite all right. I've been eating for a full five minutes. Um, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. Yes, no, absolutely fine. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I... What about the rehearsal? The choir are waiting. Sorry? Rehearsal! Two o'clock this afternoon. Oh, um, I'm afraid I, I can't make choir practice today. I've had a slight uh, problem. Problem? Hmm. Uh, what sort of problem? Um, I've, I've, uh, I've knocked a can of paint over. And I have to clean it off the carpet. Well, Vicky, you could have at least phoned us. I suppose I just have to make your apologies to the choir now. Good afternoon. Green leather wallet, contents as per list, found by Mr. Ablo. We'll just sign here, sir, I'll see that it reaches its owner. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Lamont, he's, he's disappeared. Just popped out, he. Eh? That's funny. I only worked down the road and I didn't see him. Yes, yes, he, ju he just popped out. Oh, well, never mind. I'll come back later. <gasps> Afternoon. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of Mr. Frank Lamond. Can you help us? Uh, uh, how did you know? Uh, I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to hurt him. I, I, a man came to me wh while I was in the bath and said you can make him disappear if you, if you want him to. Uh, but I had to. It, it was a message from God. God told you to make Mr. Lamond disappear? Uh, I only did what the man in the bathroom, who came from God, what he told me to do. Perhaps you'd better come with us, Reverend. If you are a Reverend, that is. Jim, go in and check. We come here to return a lost wallet. What do we find? A crackpot vicar and a possible homicide. And today is Sunday too. Hurry up, Jim. We've got a right one here. Nothing suspicious there, Bill. Right, let's get you down the station. Listen, you, you there. Tell, tell, tell these people what you told me. Merry eternity. And a happy damnation.
Funny that, we'd never have spotted this loony if it hadn't been for that man handing in the wallet. What was his name? Mr. Abel. No, Ablo. Mr. Diablo. That's what it was. We'll have to make sure he gets his reward for this. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you can take this from the bundle that's missing. A possible homicide. Oh, sorry, Laurie. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looked like a police car actually. <laughs> Don't give me my ticket, Joe. <laughs> That's funny, I only work around the corner and I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, uh, he's, he's, he's disappeared. Just popped out, eh? That's funny, I only worked down the road and I didn't see him. Yes? Is Frank here? Mr. Armand. Uh, he's. Yes! It's Frank. Mr. Amit! He's... he's disappeared! <laughs> Funny that. We'd never have spotted this loony if it hadn't been for that man handling, handing in that wallet. What was his name? Miss, Mr. Abel. No, Abel. <laughs> I think it's filming at the We'd never have caught this loony if it hadn't been for that man handing in, hand, handing in the wallet. What was his name? <laughs> He's lost his hat, eh?
Bet. Richard, yes. Steph <laughs> Cohen. Swirling mists.